Uh, let's go to Ubisoft then, Evan. You want to hit us with that Ubisoft question? Uh, this guy's wondering, he can't be the only one super hyped for Immortal Phoenix Rising since E3 more than any other Ubisoft game. So I guess he's asking, you know, how's all your hype levels for Immortal Phoenix I'm Rising? I'm excited. Okay. Click, excited. Cl click, you played it. Yeah, tell yeah, us. Yeah, it's clicked and play it. Okay, I mean, tell us to about me, it. it looked like Breath of the Wild, and, and that's <laughs> not a bad thing. I mean, I, I kind of... It's, it works. I, yeah, I first yeah. saw it, and I was like, what is this oh, game? Oh, he ran. Like... There you go. Another Breath of the Wild game coming yeah, out. But, that was the yeah. first thing I, I noticed about it. I'm like, man, this looks yep. like Breath of the Wild a lot. Yep. I was actually watching uh, Jeff Grubbs in the chat there, but I know I was watching his 30-minute um, uh, playthrough where mm -hmm. he was fumbling with the boxes. He couldn't, like, move them and stuff. <laughs> so I was laughing at that, but, I like... As soon as I saw that, I was like, "Dude, this is Breath of the Wild." Um, mm -hmm. And I watched, um, I watched some other content of, of the game, and I was like, I, "I dig this. I can get behind this. This looks kind of cool." So I'll definitely check it out. Yeah, uh, I have a video on it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I never say that during this podcast, but I do have a video chat, so feel Let's free to go it check it out. It's not thirty minutes, though. Goodness gracious! Um, no, they did give us a couple hours to play it. It definitely is is Breath of the Wild. I'm not even going to say that. Uh, it's not. <laughs> um, but I will say that's what works because there are open world games, and I love Ghost of Tsushima so much. But there were things that I wish they had just done, like Breath of the Wild did. I wish they had climbing mechanics in Ghost. You know, like there were a lot of like long story the climbing short, was kind of bad and ghost actually. yeah and, and i will say if they had you know kind of and they're probably far into development but you know if they had possibly been like okay well it worked it's popular we're gonna do it and kind of be shameless about it like I, I think that's fine um i will say with this game is you know we're only in one region we don't know about story or character development this the character's kind of quirky uh kind of goofy i don't i just don't hope it doesn't fall flat on the story side of things um but the combat was super fun. I did like they have like the flurry kind of dodging aspect. They have the they have a skill tree. They have the skill points. They have full customization. If you like stats of other uh, armor, but you want the look of another, you can transmog. And I was a big fan of that because I love customization. But the combat was just so fun with the big giant ridiculous weapons uh, to where you I mean, it's just it's just a, it's a blast. It's, it, it feels like a hack and slash, but also the dodging and the parrying just feels really satisfying. Um, I just, again, I would need to actually see how the character and the story progresses. Cause for me, I am a big fan of games like Zelda. And even though Breath of the Wild had some of the least story out of any of the games, I can't imagine a game that would have less than that and me fully enjoy it. Are the but weapons breakable in the game? No, they are not. Oh. They are cracked from the <laughs> gods. Yeah. So yeah, you have like the hammer of, uh. I don't even remember the god's names. There's so many, but like the the sprinting mechanic, you know, was fun, and it, it doesn't. Uh, and like the the mounting, like when you have a mount, uh, you can just call it, and it just appears. Like you jump up, and it just appears, and then like you can't kill mounts or anything. Uh, the gliding mechanic was really fun. Um, that to me, it, it just it was like elements that Breath of the Wild had, and then they evolved on it. You know what I mean? Like I loved Breath of the Wild, but the combat left people lack like wishing for more. Mm -hmm. And especially that w items and weapons broke. Yeah, you know they kind of wish that wasn't a thing. So I feel like if you did enjoy Breath of the Wild, this, in my opinion, could be a very fun exploration experience. But you know, again, I'm just gonna disclaimer because we didn't get to see any of the story. I can't tell you what the narration or any of that composition. Yeah, consists I was of. a little, I was a little concerned because the the character looks kind of generic when they sh when they were showing them, but then they showed a, you like be able to like create your own character so i don't yeah, know yeah be fully customizable mm -hmm. yeah so we'll, we'll see we'll see on that because it could have just been a character they made for the demo was kind of like generic kind of looking it was they made um, us all play the same character oh mm -hmm. okay well, that makes yeah sense. there all was right. we couldn't we couldn't change anything like we couldn't change we couldn't like uh really change anything of the skill tree um or like the points so like there were abilities still that we didn't even get to add on so like button combos and stuff like that we didn't even get to try yeah so this game's I'm out curious in, just to unlock it this game's out in less than three months yes yeah december december 3rd uh i mean honestly if you're gonna go if you're gonna do something like that you might as well you might as well go all in and just and just do breath of the wild i mean yes. they were they jumped off a cliff and started gliding they were they were climbing up cliffs they didn't know, yeah, is the sure. switch version coming out on the same day i believe it's know? all supposed to launch at the same time yeah. uh i think i believe so I, I think the press release says so i think it says yeah. it's coming over apparently stadia is gonna get an early look at it so the 12 people who still have it can uh <laughs> run around the island so that'd be fun that'd be yeah. fun what'd you think nate when you saw it uh to me it just came off as a breath of the wild clone where it to me it didn't seem like it was doing anything unique in its own way you see like oh look we're in 
one of these dungeon things and we're doing a labyrinth and we're picking up boxes almost identically to oh, Breath of the Wild. Like, it's definitely there's, a shrine. Yeah. <laughs> there's inspiration and then there's just yeah. blatant ripoff. And this game is flirting with that line. And to me, it it's is. if I'm going to play a Breath of the Wild like game, I'll play I'll play Breath of the Wild. I don't again? need Ubisoft's half-ass efforts. Well, you play it again, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, God, wait, you, like, yeah, man. You, you call it half-ass, but this looks like they've spent some time on this game, right? It, I mean, it, it does. It, it looks like it's, they spent some time. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's inspired a it, lot, but I mean, like, it looks better than the Genshin Impact game, it's right? From, it's, from the, uh, it's from the Assassin's Creed Odyssey team, I believe. Yeah, it like, is. and it, it, it does look better. The Genshin Impact game looked like they just took like anime and said, oh, let's do Breath of the Wild anime. And th it, this game looks more, it looks higher quality. The UI font, not the best, but it looks higher quality. I mean, yes, maybe it's yeah. not as good as Breath of the Wild, but at the same time, it's, I think it's still going to, I think it's still going to be fun. And I think it's $50. I don't think it's, it's not 60, is it? I, th I think it's 50. Uh, they, I don't know. I don't really? remember. Oh, wow. I'm I just going to say, if you're, it. if you're wanting something to tie you over, you know, in, in between now and Breath of the mm -hmm. Wild 2, Maybe you'll enjoy it. You know, I, I could say this. I I'm pretty excited for it. I could experience it like and the then not. Yeah. But if I'm looking for something to tie me over between Breath of the Wild 1 and Breath of the Wild 2, it's called Age of Calamity. Yeah, but that's a Warriors that's game. I want to play an open, open world, world game. It's a Musu. Yeah, it's a Musu. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to feel a Zelda inspired Ubisoft game. It's still going to have the Ubisoft problems that they put in every Assassin's Creed game and every game they make. And there's nothing about the demonstration yeah, they play. They shared. Here. It's Ubisoft at the end of the day. I'm Nate's, not going to get now. All people are going to give Ubisoft I, the benefit of the Nate's doubt. Nate's out here lifting up Ski Sniper and tearing down a mortal. So I, I agreed up until I, I watched uh, Click's video on it and seeing her actually have fun with it and actually seeing how she was working out problems and stuff made me think it, it is it's just more breath of the wild but to me that's fine I've, I've definitely said that like mimicry isn't always an insult and i talked to wood privately and wood said that he had a blast with it wood from beat him up so do we do we have like, an idea how many currencies will be available in this game all <laughs> right are there time savers <laughs> I, uh, I don't is, I there a, is, is there currency that you spend to change the name back to gods and monsters because <laughs> yeah, I, say that. I was i was gods just about to say I, I, I love what we look what, 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 what we've seen on it i'm like okay that looks pretty fun and i saw everyone's videos i'm like okay yeah i'm down that name is stupid I don't, I don't, I don't like no, no, no. Why do they have to be unique and name Phoenix all spe Phoenix? Right? No, I like gods and monsters. Well, more. Phoenix is a gods callback to Starcraft too. So I mean, that's, yeah, but other games this ain't Starcraft too. You know, this is I, this, this is Immortals. So either be Immortals or be gods and monsters, but don't be no Phoenix who's rising. I like I, I like gods and monsters that. more. I don't know. I mean, it's just gods me. and monsters. Well, it's it might, have, it might have been a marketing you know? problem in some countries. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if they ran like licensing problems or something. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Dragons. Games have um, different names in different countries. I mean, that's not that's you know. Yeah, I mean, they could call it Gods of cool. Monsters here and Immortals somewhere else. I'm I mean, kind of at the about marketing, right? <laughs> I don't know. I the feel same like poster. Star this Fox, my... Star Wing. <laughs> well, this is, this is this is my Pokemon, thing. Is like if the, if there's really successful things that like games have done that kind of change the atmosphere of an open world game. To me, climbing and and gliding. Um, you know, like if you're going to be stubborn and just avoid it to avoid it, like that's fine, but it, it could create like a hindrance of, of enjoyment for some people. Again, I'll go back to ghost after I've played breath of the wild or horizon. I played after I played breath of the wild. And those are two similar climbing mechanics of predetermined spots. God of war was very linear. So that's a different conversation to have. Uh, the other thing is, uh, I think I just forgot it actually. Um, I literally don't remember. But I, I mean, I, I would I would be more upset if if people like specifically just avoided those uh, gameplay elements just so they don't get like blamed for copying. You what? know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like if it's enjoyable and it works, just do it in your own way. You know, what? like the glide, the gliding and the wings and everything like it was it to me, it was more fun than just paragliding down in Breath mm. of the Wild. Sometimes. because you, it actually like you can dash into enemies and knock them back. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it's it has other uses. I was going to say, I, I think sometimes like rip, when stuff gets ripped off, it's great. Like uh, there was a time when everybody was trying to rip off Doom and it really kind of mm. modernized a first person shooter control style. Um, and, and sometimes when people refuse to rip something off, it's a detriment. Like remember yeah. when 
um, the Lord of the Rings game came out and they introduced the Nemesis system. And it was so ingenuity, just seeing like this AI created, like making bad guys for you that each one has yeah. their own original lines and fears and reason for hating you. That was so cool. And we thought that everybody would rip it off. And it seemed like the whole games industry decided, let's not rip off this Wait. absolutely genius idea. No, Assassin's Creed is the only one who dipped into doing yeah. it. No, they, they, yes, attempted, they did it great. They attempted it in Warframe, <laughs> but it's a little too grindy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I isn't. I think they said something or said some sort of hint like it might have something like that in the Gotham Knights game as well. It sounds like there may be bad guys in there. They're also algorithmically created. Let's let's uh let's let's go through Someone the rest did of this. Say, though, uh, Phoenix Rising Revengeance, and I think that's a good name change. So I want to point that one out. <laughs> revengeance. Okay. Yeah, Rising, rising revengeance, revengeance, like Metal Gear. Oh, well, since we're wearing Doom shirts, we do have to do a shout out. Somebody put Doom on a pregnancy test, and since two of, two of us oh, are wearing. Yeah. Sure, we have to yeah, give a shout out to the Doom pregnancy let's, test. Let's uh, let's go through the rest of the Ubisoft review. I'm, I'm just gonna, I guess, go run through a few of these because it's Riders Republic. I don't. That's don't an RGT anyone... game, man. Yeah, okay. I, I I'm RGT. a casual racer. I'll play it. I'll play <laughs> RGT, it. RGT. That's RGT's game right there. And then we had Rainbow Six Siege is going to next gen consoles this year. All right, oh, 4K. Boy. Support up to 4K 120 frames. I was waiting for that one. Tom <laughs> Watch, Fancy's next gen. Watch Dogs Legion will have. Aiden Pierce. Apparently, everyone asked for him. <laughs> Who? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was laughing when they said that. Yeah, everyone asked, asked for. Aiden. I, I didn't hear a damn person asked for Aiden Pierce, but I, I, you know, I, maybe I'm not looking. To come out. Okay. I'm so I'm tired looking. of hearing about this game, man. They talked about Hyperscape for a few minutes for Turbo Mode. So there you go. And then they showed Prince of Persia: Sands of Time. Mm. And I'm uh, like, oops. <laughs> What were, what, were, what were you guys expecting with Prince of Persia? Like <laughs> anything that. but that. Did you expect anything? anything? Not that. But I, mean, I, I, PS3 thought was cool. I thought it was HD. cool, but it was always going to be that though. Like that's like, not what that's how we make. It. Everyone's like, oh, maybe we didn't really want it. Well, you know, maybe like, they shouldn't have called it a remake when it's yeah, a remaster. A remaster. But, but the problem remaster is, it technically better. is because it's in the Assassin's Creed Origin engine. Then how Didn't does it yeah, like and, and we can tell because it looked awful. Didn't no, they, they remaster it on the PS3? Was it it's a PS2 game that they remastered in the on the PS3, right? No, no, that was a new game. No, no, well, they, they, they did released it. They did a, they did a, they did a remaster collection on the PS3, a, right? Yeah, there's a collection. Yeah, it, it's, you're it's, right. Yeah, yeah. they did the yeah, original it's a PS2 trilogy. PS2 game though, with in in uh, 1080p though, or whatever. It's or, like, I mean, it's, it looks it looks like it doesn't look good, but I'm getting it day one. I love Prince of Persia. I'm gonna get it too. Like I love a masterpiece. I love Sands of Time, but like, are they charging like forty dollars for it? Twenty dollars, uh, you know, game game share, Nate. Come on, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you got to share with you. We're twenty bucks a piece. Twenty dollars <laughs> seems like a fair price. That's exactly. Right. Yeah. You're well, gonna find physically. somebody random, like, please pay for half of this, please. Uh, gosh, <laughs> I don't, I don't really know what what happened. Yeah, I the environments. I looked, I watched the trailer a bunch of times. Uh, the environments uh, look I, good, I but know then the what character models look bad. That's the I know what happened. Okay, what happened? Ubisoft set set up that group to fight because they didn't give him anywhere near enough money to to make that game mm. like, I mean, they that gave him like a million it. bucks and said make the best game you possibly can <laughs> yeah, plus they're showing alpha footage what well, a few months before the game's supposed to launch well, yeah, I mean, January, they talked yeah. to the, they did an interview with the guys and they said yeah like it's apparently it's just a couple people but they were told like yeah just make the game and you have See, all the freedom you want and you have all the the budget you want but you're right yeah it's probably just a million bucks of like five people in india i think right isn't it it's like it's a uh, uh, it's Ubisoft so, India, and they're just making it... Mumbai or something like if that. If this is a test, and this oh, game doesn't no. sell well, my concern. does that That's my mean concern. like we never get another Prince of Persia which, game? Which uh, sucks even more yeah. because the trilogy, the original trilogy for this, was the sealed package that was like this great story. Uh, I, dude, if Prince of Persia relies on this release doing well, it, you might as well just call it. Like it's that was not a good introduction for. I me. just don't understand why it's they only announced it for like current can, gen can you play them on backward compatibility on the xbox those games i mean they did say like pretty much all xbox games will be back compat except for connect games so i would assume so so why why bother remaking remastering or remaking oh, you're talking about game? you're talking about the original xbox version of yeah it. oh yeah the original xbox version isn't back no it's not think. okay Okay. Well, I mean, it is, yeah. it is on Steam though, so there you go. <laughs> Get on Steam. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm just upset we didn't. Uh, we got a Breath of the Wild Ubisoft game before a brand new freaking Splinter Cell game. Okay, hold on, Splinter Aww. Cell. They, they are putting Sam Fisher in Rainbow Six. He will oh, be there. They had old trailer. <laughs> that old that's trailer. pretty. That's pretty cool though. It, it's pretty cool, <laughs> but it's not. You know, is it though? 
It, well, because Rainbow Six, Rainbow Six is cool to watch. I don't, I don't like playing Rainbow Six, but I think that it, it's pretty fun to watch. Uh, look, but I, but I, I feel cash. In. So I feel cash. In. It's like I'm on my dating app and I'm swiping. All of a sudden, there's really sexy Sam Fisher, and I'm like, oh yeah, swipe well, right. And if I'm you're on your phone, and I show up my date. If you're on your phone, then you're playing the Ubisoft man. tactics game with him. In it. Oh, oh no. say, it's old man. Oh, old man oh, Sam no. Fisher shows up. I, with I want Splinter Cell. I think we're gonna get Splinter Cell, <laughs> a, a remake of Splinter Cell, like uh, like maybe like the one or two or three, a Chaos well, Theory. I think they'll remake one of those. Will it look like Prince of Persia remake? Oh no! Probably. <laughs> Probably. Well, the, 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 the original point, Chaos Theory, where everything's getting remakes, and it's like we're never gonna get a new game, are we? At this Not, point, yeah. we're never it's gonna just get gonna a new gonna be Splinter Cell, a new Prince of Persia. I have Persia. to assume that all of this Prince of Persia stuff, all these, or, or I'm sorry, all these Splinter Cell cameos and stuff, it has to lead picture, to something, right? It has to lead to a new Splinter Cell at some point, and it, it, it might be like. Two years no. from now, it's just going to have the new cameos. Now, I'm expecting the the uh, the Immortals announcement of that Sam Fisher is going to be in Immortals. No, right? Sam, dude, Sam uh, Fisher's Sam Fisher's going to Just Dance at this point. Okay, yeah. oh my yeah. god, they are going to do it. He'll be a DLC skin in the new Prince of Persia game. That'll be good no, if they do that. I can't wait for the next Watch Dogs trailer. It's like, and now you can play. You got your Aiden Pierce. He's back. But what if? You had Sam Fisher. So, someone, in the chat, uh, someone in the chat saying you can play Sands of Time on the Xbox One. So yeah. Get the get, get the, the X, get the Xbox yeah. Series S and play uh, Sands of Time. You'll be you'll be good. <laughs> Jordan, when you were saying eight Cost Pierce, two dollars ninety nine, whatever. whatever well, hold on. Me. How are you going to put the disc in the Series S? How you buy it? How you? <laughs> it's digital. Mm-hmm. It's all digital. It doesn't have a disc. Oh, buy digitally on the. Yeah, uh, you... is, how much is on the Xbox Store? Is it two ninety nine? Uh, probably like less than five bucks. I'm, yeah. I'm uh, thinking. So I experimented recently. I was buying some old, uh, old, I, some older games on there. And yeah, I think a lot of the Xbox 360 games are like five bucks or ten bucks. That just and then feels a lot icky of the... though. Playing a PS2 game, like I, I need the disc. Just get the original Xbox and play it on there. The the OG Xbox. Get that Ooh, HDMI on there. I got, I got that. Yeah. yeah. HDMI connection. It's uh, it's four dollars. Let's purchase Sands Time on the Xbox Store right now. I'm gonna do that comparison. It's gonna be a remake versus Xbox. Yeah, get, get, say what guess it the remake and just have both the pictures side by side. Guess which ones came out in 2020. Ima- imagine if I just reviewed the original game and just didn't even tell anybody, and I was like, "It's the remake." Like, who's gonna call me out? Yeah, It'd be a good video. So, and then we had, <laughs> then we had Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. It's coming back. It, this was, this was really impressive to see because people are people are really excited. Of course, it's been in the making for a while now. It's for the tenth anniversary, I think. And I, I saw uh, RGT eighty five say he doesn't care about Sp- Scott Pilgrim versus the World, so <laughs> that's why he's really not on the podcast tonight. Night, how do you <laughs> happy for the fans who really enjoyed the game? I thought it was always an average River City Ransom clone. It what? never hides of River City Ransom. It had what? Yeah. It's definitely better than River City. Ransom. It what? is so much better. It's what funny, are you talking dude? about? Anyway, that game was average at best, and it only became the super hyped thing after they took it off the digital it store. It's was like, definitely oh, better than River City Ransom. It's no. really good. I played it day one, actually. Back in the day, my friends and I, we only had an Xbox 360. And we bought a lot of those. They used to do the, you remember that Spawn Wave? They do the, like, deal of the month or week. Mm-hmm. Where they put something at the front. What do they call it? Xbox Live Arcade deal of the month or whatever. And for a whole month, that was the banner. So we bought it and played it and loved it. Yeah, right. That is that is a much better game, Nate, than Remember City Ransom. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> Is it is crack legal in your state, Nate? <laughs> there, there is there is some truth to what he's saying. Like when a game gets delisted, a lot oh, of people, I know that. Yeah. a lot of people have that nostalgia and that. Oh man, I wish that game they brought that game back and it's coming yeah. back. So it's, it's See, good someone in the chat knows what's up. River City Girls is better than Scott Pilgrim. Ooh. River City Girls is definitely better than Scott Pilgrim. Like Street I personally Street feel Street better than is. Scott Pilgrim. Street, Scott Pilgrim has a lot to live up to right now, and unless they <laughs> really change the fundamentals of that game, it's not going to be. It's not going to live up to half of the beat 'em ups. I, mean, I, I can see why people think Scott Pilgrim is better than River City Ransom. Like I can see that, but River City Girls definitely seems like it's a is lot. The, is from, the music? What is I, the, from, is from the music as good? River City Girls has an awesome sound. It's, it's good music. It does. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's it not better than. It's not better girls. than Scott Pilgrim vs. the World music, though. I mean. Do, yeah. Are you, you guys can't, can't you guys love the that. movie? Is it because you guys love the movie that that's why you're holding this game? Of like, it's like the yeah. yeah it's, 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 I'm not holding the game. Yeah, no, I mean the movie. The movie is good. The movie. I like the movie a lot because I, I watched yeah. the movie and I thought it was 
It was okay. But I feel like if we're talking about the music being really? better or worse school, than one, we could just buy if the, the you know, like, quirkiness. Let's just be clear. If this movie was distributed by Nintendo, you'd love it, OJ. You're like, this is yeah. the best video game movie ever. I love the Mario Bros. Especially Bros. if movie. it was limited time. I have the now. RTX 3080. I love the Mario Bros. So movie. I love the Mario Bros. movie. <laughs> I need the... <laughs> I had the I, we, were, we were laughing about that with Sean. I, cause he, I said I had the RTX 3080 and he said he didn't care. Or I was going to get it. And then I was like, I was going to do a meme with the RTX 3080 with Sean looking at it like he's asleep. And I was going to put the RTX 3080 on top of a switch. And then he's just freaking out in the other picture. <laughs> uh, I'll give Scott Pilgrim. It has nice visuals. What? Yeah, yeah no, it, it looks great. The music's good. The music's good great. Visuals. Probably it has the best. Solid soundtrack. It has average gameplay. Solid soundtrack. Average gameplay. What's, what's, a, what's a better beat em up? What's a beat em up better soundtrack? River City Some Girls. Oh, game, game. my gosh. Final Fight. Double Dragon. Oh, oh Double know. Dragon for four. sure. Double D Dribble. Double Dragon soundtrack is freaking amazing. Creates of Rage 3, 2, and 1. Look at this last one. The four one no, I don't, none of, none of those games have a better soundtrack. Comic Zone. I'll just put it out there now. It's Comic yeah, Zone. No, really Comic like Zone. Damn, I wish I liked as much as you guys. For real, though. Like, I played, the, I played it and I thought it was cool, mm -hmm. but dang, is it? I need to play it again. That's what I need to do. I need to play it again, then I'll really. It's coming out. Sure. Coming out this time. I still have it on the and I booted up. I'm like, this game is still just okay. I don't understand the love for this it. This holiday? Dude, people are buying hacked PlayStation 3s online just to play this game. Oh, well, maybe I should sell mine. Since you have a hacked PS3? No, but I have the, I have the game. Oh. On it, it probably sell that tie, it that's tied to your account, out. though, isn't it? Oh, well. I'll sell my account with the game. Right, leave it signed in. Nate, are you Nate, still I use your account? A, what? Nate has a Taco Bell PlayStation 4. <laughs> I kind of want to get it some day. And a Taco Bell PlayStation Vita of... What's the PSVR? Both came from Taco. What is the difference on the VR? Does it have a little bell on it? It came with a $25 gift card. And coating <laughs> wow. of Dorito oh, dust. Gosh. That's it. <laughs> and for like half a game. That's crazy. Almost half a game. It no, smells like, like Baja VR Blast. <laughs> this is like Baja Blast. And I didn't eat Taco Bell to win. I used the free code they gave online. I put it in one morning and I won. Wow. That's not only worse. It makes it worse. It degrades it. <laughs> Uh, do we have any other Discord questions left, Evan? Now nah, we're clear. All right. Uh, any other thoughts on the Ubisoft Forward presentation? I think it was better than the last one they did. Agreed. Uh, yeah, I, I gave it yeah. a seven out of ten. I thought well, I, the last it was, was too bad, stretched though. out. The big problem is forty. It was forty-five minutes exactly. I timed it. It was twenty minutes of information. It should not have been that long. Uh, I, I thought it was okay. Seven, six, six or seven out of ten. Yeah, for sure. It's good. I think it was a good show. Um, and it's better than nothing, I guess. And they had a couple, they had a few pretty good updates on the games. <laughs> and uh, they had the Phoenix Immortals. They had Scott, everyone's been crying for Scott Pilgrim to come back. Okay, it comes back. So you got to give it credit for that. And uh, what's the other game that they showed off? Phoenix. And then there's a Scott Pilgrim. No, they showed more. off a long yeah. sports Prince, game. Obviously, Battle Prince Royale of Persia. Yeah, that, that wasn't great. There were some yeah. low parts for sure. But overall, I thought it was okay. You know, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't. And like, you know, Watch Dogs. They have that Aiden for those people like that, like the Aiden Pierce stuff, whatever. But no, it was, it was all right. It wasn't. I think it was better than the first one for sure, because there was no mobile games, right? There was no mobile games at all. There was like three mobile games last time. This time there was none. So that's I cool. don't know if we can give them credit for that, OJ. <laughs> they just they cut some of those. The but, uh, but we complained about it last time. So that's true. That's true. <laughs> why can't we give them credit this time for not having mobile uh. games? So.